Now talking about my skin, my skin is extremely sensitive, oily and acne prone and I already have like little piece of art on my face. It did not ball up at all. It just stayed on my face and made it so dewy. A little bit about my skin. So I have a very dry skin and since it's already winters, um, it tends to get really stretchy. I mean, I cannot reapply it at all. I have tried so many ways. So this video format is one product, multiple reviews. Let's start. Hello to all the wonderful humans. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome. I am a Boli and I make science-based videos. If you are interested in that space and consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, today's video is a bit of a different video where you're going to get the review of the minimalist multivitamin SPF 50 and it's not just my review I have collaborated with two of my subscribers one has dry sensitive skin and one has oily acne prone and sensitive skin and I am going to be in the category of oily to combination skin type because my skin is getting quite dry because of the winters let's start with the basic review first now it comes in a pump packaging like this as you can see here it costs 399 for 50 grams i'll say it falls in the affordable category because sunscreens we know can get very expensive and in that price you get spf 50 and pa plus 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 protection which i feel is great uh, from the price point now let's uh, start talking about the texture a little bit now this is the texture this is how it is now the texture when you take this amount of product is quite light and it has a moisturizer base so it's going to be like a light moisturizer it is not a hydrator based sunscreen so it's not going to be like a very light gel sunscreen it is a moisturizer based sunscreen hi everyone i'm Aditi and today i'll be sharing my experience with minimalist spf 50 now i'd begin by telling a little bit about my skin so i have a very dry skin and since it's already winters um it tends to get really stretchy and you know uh, very very uh, tight <laughs> if i may and uh, I even experienced a bit of uh, skin peeling um, in case it's not hydrated enough or something. So that's how it is. And I, ha I also have a very sensitive uh, skin type. So uh, let's say if, if I sort of <laughs> brush by a little harshly, it, it tends to get red and everything. So I have very sensitive skin as well. And I have a bit of texture here and there, but nothing major. Um, so that's how my skin is now coming to the sunscreen um, the texture is actually very light and it feels very fluid like you know and it I mean from the first impression feels like it would blend in very easily but uh, for me I've been trying the sunscreen out for like a month now uh, and for the first couple of times when I tried it I wasn't even able to apply it because it feels so much and it is it does not blend easily uh, i applied decent amount two fingers and i had to blend in a lot I had to like rub it into my skin a lot and it it gets tight for after a while and then it starts spilling so the, for the first couple of times i wasn't even able to apply it i tried multiple methods with cream moisturizer underneath gel moisturizer essence nothing underneath underneath it just directly apply sunscreen but like nothing worked okay then i start trying this method out i applied my moisturizer and then waited for like 15 to 20 minutes let it set in properly and then applied the sunscreen and what i do it uh, do is massage it lightly into my skin at the moment it start getting the uh, you know start getting absorbed i would just start pa uh, like patting it in and that worked so i pat it in uh, nicely up until no residue of it is left and then it leaves no white casts it's well on my skin um doesn't give any sort of irritation i even apply it around my eyes and everything doesn't irritate eyes for me now talking about my skin my skin is extremely sensitive oily and acne prone and i already have like little piece of art on my face these dark spots so the sunscreen talking about the texture of the sunscreen the texture is beautiful it is so easy to blend in like i haven't really used too many varieties of sunscreen 
and I haven't either used any of minimalist other products as well. But if I talk of this sunscreen, it is so comfortable on the skin. And when I wore other like moisturizer or foundation on top of it, it did not ball up at all. It just stayed on my face and made it so dewy. Like I'm wearing it right now and I'm not wearing anything on top of it. So you can actually see like it, it's really comfortable on the skin and that is what matters for me. Because my skin literally reacts to every little thing. So the best thing is it did not break me out, did not give me any white heads or any other irritation in my skin. The first thing that I noticed about the texture is the amount of time that it takes to blend. It does not leave a white cast like this will go away once you start maneuvering it in your skin. But it takes a lot of time to just blend it in your skin. So if you are someone who gets a lot of acne or who has a problem with eczema or rosacea or who has sensitive skin in general, it can get a little irritating if you're just rubbing your skin for a long period of time. The second thing that I experience now I didn't get this feedback from the other two reviewers but what I experience with this product is the cooling effect now I don't know why that is but it, that's there so if you know that bothers you in some way then of course you cannot get it it is also fragrance free so that's great there's no annoying overpowering fragrance which many sunscreens have it does take time to uh, as you can see it does take a lot of time to get absorbed in but once it gets absorbed for my skin i'll tell you what it does now see it's almost getting absorbed the white cast goes away but when you apply it in the quantities like say two fingertips or two and a half fingertips on your skin when you apply it initially you can see that there is a little bit of a white cast it goes away then as a oily combination skin type person i thought that it leaves like a dewy finish according to me this sunscreen has a weird ass texture so initially you'll get this dewy look uh, it is written on the website that gives a non shiny look which i don't agree with as you can see here it has a moisturizer base so it is going to give you a dewy look but after some time the uh, sunscreen settles in and from the dewy it almost goes to a little bit of a matte look so these are winter months and uh, there's not a lot of heat so that is why maybe it goes into the matte finish but if you are outside sweating i'm not so sure if this sunscreen would give you the matte or non-shiny look that you're going for what i've also experienced uh, is pilling what aditi has already mentioned yes this sunscreen pills and you can almost feel uh, you know those little little balls underneath your fingers once you start rubbing it in this is a sunscreen that i still haven't figured out why is it pilling because sometimes it pills and sometimes it doesn't so i don't know what it needs to not pill on my skin what malika mentioned is that it's quite light it uh, seeps inside and even for my acne prone skin i have not uh, experienced any kind of breakouts or close comedones with this particular sunscreen which i think is great because so many sunscreens which have a moisturizer base just tend to break us out badly and it stays uh, even under the mask uh, for example there are other sunscreens that i use like the recul one it is a beautiful sunscreen, uh, blends very well, but uh, for me, it pills under the mask. Um, and there are other sunscreens which are more hydrating also, like the Earth Rhythm one or Photo Stable and all of these. Uh, but they just make me sweat a lot under the mask, so uh, not very suitable. Uh, but with the sunscreen, none of it happened, at least, you know, in, in the winter months it didn't. I'm not sure how it would function in summers. Uh, so yeah, in that aspect, it, it seemed to be a pretty nice sunscreen and I even went outdoors a couple of times uh, applying it. So it provides decent um, sun protection. Uh, I didn't notice any tanning or, you know, um, skin redness or anything after being in the sun for longer hours. But I've noticed that it sort of makes my skin drier than it already is, even if I have you know decent moisturization under it by the end of the day or let's say even like three to four hours my skin starts feeling very stretchy and around the corner of my mouth right it, it gets so stretchy that it starts peeling which which i experience because i have dry skin it gets flaky and everything but i don't expect it to happen when i have you know properly moisturized my skin before 
but with this sunscreen somehow it tends to get flakier uh, after a while and i've also noticed that uh, uh, makes my skin's appearance a little dull uh, dull in the sense uh, my skin sort of looks dead if that makes any sense there is no shine no glow into it just looks like very matte sort of very dry and powdery sort of no white cast but very powdery appearance to the skin uh, which it is not the case usually so that's a major con for me there's one problem that is just not avoidable <laughs> with this sunscreen you cannot i mean i cannot reapply it at all i have tried so many ways so many times you know try to find a work around with the sunscreen on how i can apply it uh, sorry reapply it but it doesn't um it feels so so badly when i try to layer it or reapply it and that is a major major con and indoors it did act pretty well outdoors also the dewiness did fade out after a couple of hours but then it did not make my skin extra greasy so i really loved that about the sunscreen it it did it did perform really well on my skin no extra oiliness no irritation and i don't expect anything else tanning i i am in bangalore right now so here the you know the uh, extent of the penetration of sunlight is very high like the uv index is pretty high here and therefore everyone get stand here no matter how much we try so i am not complaining about that the protection is what mattered for me and it did really did not cause me any bad effects or any after effects of this so i really loved it now that you have seen how it works on uh, different skin types i would like to mention that this has retinol in it which is quite strange but because of the presence of retinol i would uh, say that there are quite a lot of restrictions with this serum uh, with this sunscreen now because um, pregnant lactating women cannot use it uh, even people who are under 20 absolutely do not recommend that to use this particular sunscreen uh, but otherwise i think uh, people uh, who have seen the review and you think that the sunscreen would suit you you should at least uh, go for it give it a try because i have seen that for some people the sunscreen works beautifully like malika but for some people like aditi and me it pills i think i will not repurchase this in the summer months because i do not think that this is sweat proof and of course i am going to repurchase it again because i do not have any complaints about it i did not find any con as such with this product the shelf life is a little less but i think it is advantageous to use it that way because of the ingredients in it i do not have much knowledge about that but i really really enjoyed using this product thank you again for now i say i would not repurchase it because even for indoors the for, for the price point and everything it's very nice but even for indoors it's not suitable if i cannot apply reapply it so for now i'd say a no to the sunscreen i hope you guys like the video and there are more videos coming up in the same category i'll be also doing a similar video with the spf 60 from minimalist and i also have two beautiful reviewers who are going to review the that particular product i would also like to thank malika and aditi for doing this video because uh, you guys took out time from your day to review a product and to shoot uh, the particular killer review so thank you so much for doing it and i hope that all of you guys liked it and i will be doing more such videos with other products so stay tuned and bye